Morning, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm on an 80k on the canyon. I'm going to try and cycle up to Coniston from home and back. And yeah, should be around 80k. So come with me, let's have a look at the views, the stunning views of the Lake District. And this should be a Lake District bit of a tour. So stay with me, let's get around and uh, see how we get on. Let's go. So the season of the canyon is nearly over. We're in October now and obviously I'll be putting it away soon for winter. And the will be again, I'll be coming out for my winter back bike. And I've just bought some 740 gravel tyres, Pinarello Adventure, Cinturino. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting them on and seeing how they get on. But I'll do a video on them and show you that at a later date because obviously I'm going on holiday for a few weeks after today, so you won't see me for a few weeks on the channel. But hopefully you'll still stick around for when I come back. Yeah, I'm loving the canyon, but I don't want it uh, to get damaged with the winter weather, the salt on the roads, stuff like that. Uh, you know, I want to keep it good for summer riding. And I've got the B again, so and that's a beautiful bike to ride as well. So, and obviously I've got the added motor there if I do need it. So yeah. Anyways, let's get further down, and uh, yeah, I'll talk a bit more later on. So that was the first big climb of the day and I tell you what, it don't get any easier. I've said here many times, you know, from my house to, to the Lake District, I mean, there's hardly anything flat at all. It's either up, down, up, down, up, down. There's probably about two sections where there's probably about 100 metres of flat to, from uh, my house to Coniston, but obviously you get the fitness in, don't it? So, yeah. So far, so good. Still doing well. And uh, yeah, let's get further down here. Let's try and hit Lake Coniston, eh? Let's go. I'm just on my approach to Coniston Water. Uh, I'm about 17 miles in. Yeah, Coniston Water. So Donald Campbell lost his life there. And the uh, Bluebird, which was raised probably about 20 years ago now, but then they've been having a fight over it, is now in the Ruskin Museum in Coniston. So yeah, it's well worth going visiting if you want to go and see that. Yeah. Nearly there. I'm just see Constant Old Man now. Let's turn around. A little bit under cloud. But we're getting there.
yeah, so I've made it to Coniston. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that bit of drone footage there. And uh, yeah, I've got enough, a little bit to eat, something to eat, have a drink, and then set off back. Then you can enjoy the views on the way back. But uh, yeah, like I always say, if you haven't already, subscribe to the video and like the video because it does help. Uh, a lot of the big channels at the minute are mourning about doing this and uh, a lot of them have get a lot of views, don't use microphones and mourn a lot. Not all, but some. And, uh, you know, I try and give you this beautiful footage and I'm hardly any, getting any views, but I guess that's the way it is. Maybe I'm just boring, I don't know, but I try my best and uh, hopefully uh, you, the ones who do watch it enjoy it. But I'm, I am getting a lot of uh, dislikes on the videos at the minute, which is knocking it down well below what they should be. So I don't know if it carries on, I don't know what to do because obviously I'm running the channel at a loss at the minute. And you know, if people are just starting to like be neg negative to the videos, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. But I try not to, you know, I have to do reviews. I know sometimes they're a bit annoying, but they're the things that keep the channel going so I can keep it free of charge and so I can keep doing it. But I do apologise for that if that does annoy some people. But like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, I'll try and get you these beautiful views. That's what I try and do. Yeah, so like I said earlier, the uh, canyon probably going away very soon, if not after this ride. So we'll be back to the Abbey again. So usually the fans of the Abbey again might be happy about that, but I've still got plans this year if we can get a dry and uh, you know not hardly no wind sort of day to do Dunfell on the Abbey again because I failed it last year and I really want to do it again after see if the fitness is a lot better I and mean, obviously because I did it on that bike I'd like to try that again on that bike and then hopefully the next summer I'll do it on this one yeah great Dunfell highest paved road in Britain and the good thing about it is it's knocked off the traffic so you get it for yourself most of the time yeah I'm uh, about 21 miles in now so and I'm obviously halfway through the ride, so or just short of halfway. So I reckon it'll be around about 80 k. Obviously, time to get home. So that'd be not bad, not a bad little ride considering it's all hills and climbs. I'm probably going to go well over 3,000 feet of climbing, so that's good for the legs too. And the sun's finally out. All right, let's get you on my chest. Let's go. Today's video, another one in the bag, 80k. I'm well happy with that. Another one I can put on me fitness goals. I've managed to get up to Coniston and back from my house, which I've only ever done on the e-bike. So really happy with that. So like I said, I'm not going to be on for about three weeks, maybe. Uh, I'm going on all day. Unless I hire a bike out there and film that, but I don't think we are. So it'll be about three weeks and then I'll use who are in the draw for the pump, e-pump from Cyclos. Uh, yeah, I'll draw that one and back 
I just don't have time to do it yet, but I've got all the names in a hat and uh, yeah, I'll uh, try and do it live if I can and give you the date and time. So the ones who are in it, I'll try and tag all them into it, into the message and then hopefully you can watch it live and then see who wins. Anyway, like I said, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, I just want to thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta for now. See ya.